Number 28. Learn English with Rihanna and Ellen. We are back with Chuck Clooney. And we thought we never play you, never have I ever. A rare appearance from both of you. Okay, so what a way to start. We're just going to play a game that you are just going to admit all kinds of things. When people admit things, they often do it unwilling, unwillingly. Never have, never have I ever tested a new selfie. Even though the words nude and naked can be considered a synonym, it is more common to hear the first one when someone has the intention to not be wearing any clothes, like a new model for an art lesson or a new beach. Why the word naked doesn't necessarily imply the willingness of the person to be that way. No, because Rihanna and I have not been invited to your house. All right, never have I ever been drunk before noon. You got to drink harder. Well, what about if you were still drunk from the night before and it's like for 4, 5, 6 a.m.? Maybe that counts. Never have I ever hooked up with someone over 50. However, the most commonly accepted one is to begin a romantic or sexual relationship with someone. Other girl, other boy or other girl is an informal expression of encouragement or admiration. Rihanna is simply showing approval of the fact that Ellen has only had sex with younger people. I'm not going to ask that question. Never have I ever spent a card. To spank is to hit someone with an open hand like a slap. It's common for people to do this as a punishment and especially on someone's rear end. This word can also have a sexual connotation and for that reason, the question that Ellen asks results to be particularly humor, humorous and bizarre. This is why Rihanna and Chuck Clooney seem to be confused and have funny reactions. Never have I ever seen a rapper naked. That's like such a broad term. Some people think hooking up is like making out, right? Some people think hooking up is like making out, right? Here we have a good example of kinetic speech, which is the way that ladies link their words together. Up in a preposition, which is an example of function word. These words reduce and connect to content words like hook and function words like the ing at the end of hooking. So instead of saying hooking up, Rihanna say hooking up. Some people think hooking up is like linking up. If you link two things, you are making a connection between them. The phrase of verb linking, link up, has a similar meaning and it used to and it is you when referring to two or more people joining or meeting. In this case, there isn't a romantic or sexual intention necessarily involved. Seal the deal like lick the envelope and close it. Never had I ever forgotten uh, the name of the person I was fooling around with. If you are fooling around with someone, you are seeing that person in a romantic way without having a serious commitment with the relationship. Never have I ever forgotten, forgotten the name of the person I was fooling around with. Never have I ever forgotten, forgotten. Here we have a good example of what we call a global T, a glot, a glotto T. This is a very difficult sound that often occurs in American and British English when the T sounds come at the end of the word or syllable. For example, cat, not cat, rotten, not rotten, can. Not can't. So Ellen didn't say forgotten. She said forgotten. Never have I ever sent a dirty test to the wrong person. All right, we have to take a break. But when we come back with uh, Rihanna. Okay, that's it.